The first pro game on Anubis was played between ATK and MIBR. This is what we learned. Firstly, the gimmicks. You can smoke connector or fast like this. You can throw away your orb behind this fence. You can throw this flash to counter the T's entering connector. You can throw this smoke to defend A. And this smoke. And this smoke. You can boost over the mid smoke. Now let's focus on how to actually play the map. On CD side, you don't push. You just stand still and wait. This is the meta. As you can see here, ATK just stands and is the best way to play. There's no reason to push anywhere. At CT, the only aggression were on B through B main. There was no aggression on A or mid. And this is the meta. It is just too much of a disadvantage for the CTs to fight for the control. It is high risk and low reward. Although you can do this B aggression. When it comes to defending A, you just don't. If you try to defend, you will get fully executed on and you have nowhere to defend from. You can try gimmick smokes, but it is not ideal. If you then want to retake A, it is very hard. No nades can help you besides some on the fly utility that you can throw. A side is like A side on Ancient, but even harder to defend and to retake. When we look at T side, you don't have to spend utility as a T because there's no CT aggression to mess with. This allows for heavy executes, which both teams did. They had different lineups, but exactly the same nades. How boring. Summing it all up, I expect Anubis to go through some massive changes. The map control is basically already decided from spawn. There's nothing to fight for for both teams. If you compare Anubis to like Inferno and Banana or Overpass Short, it is so different on how teams fight for the control. The executes on Anubis were heavy, because the TS doesn't have to spend utility to fight for map control. This allows for a lot of retakes from the CTs, since they will just allow the TS to execute and then retake afterwards.